Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Megan, I do sewing, embroidery, and other crafty things. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a logo and a cover photo for your Etsy shop. So this is what my cover photo and my logo looks like now. Not bad, but I want to edit my cover photo to show more pro more of my products. Um, and then I just feel like my logo needs a fresh eating up. So I'm going to show you how to do that in Canva right now. So let's go to Canva. And what you can do, um, I use Canva Pro, um, but you should be able to do this without having to pay for Canva Pro. So Canva has a free version and then the Pro version, um, which you pay a monthly fee for. I don't remember exactly what it is. I personally pay for the pro version just because I use this for my YouTube, my Etsy, even my my work. So, um, you know, this is a very helpful website, especially if you're trying to design certain things or flyers, all those sorts of stuff. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to type in here. So this is what you're going to be trying to design. So I'm just going to type in Etsy logo and let's see what comes up. Um, so Etsy shop icon is what we want. So these are all of the templates that people have created that you can use to kind of uh, customize your own logo. So let me scroll through here and see what I can find. This one is okay. I kind of want my um, logo and my co uh, cover photo to kind of be matching. So just something to come up with. So this is super cool, like you, if you have like a knitting shop, you can use this one. But all of these should be fairly basic. This one's nice. Um, let's see, this one's cute. That one's a nice one for summer, or spring and summer, or just year round. Um, sometimes they have certain themed ones, so maybe like Valentine's. This one's super cute. I actually like that one a lot, so maybe we'll go with that one. Let's use this one. So we'll customize it. I think that'll be cute for just spring and summertime. So I'm gonna type in my shop name. You might actually do the same font so you can adjust the font. And um, it'll have the document font, so I'm just gonna select that. Um, I don't know why it's all in capital letters, so that's interesting. How do I make it not do that? Well, you know what, I'll just delete this for now. So I'll just use this one. Uh, maybe I can like separate them. And then you can center the the um, the file here. So I'm just gonna increase the size. Uh, let me actually make it this on the one line and make this a bit bigger. That looks better. Okay, so it'll let you know if your design is centered as well. Um, I think that's cute, but I kind of want to come up with another one just in case. So I'm just going to select add page, which is helpful if you want to create multiple logos at the same time to see which one you want to do or not. Let's try this one. Maybe I'll put my shopping in the center here. This is kind of nice. Let me get smaller. And then I'm in the middle. That's not bad. That's okay. Let's see. So luckily when you create these, you can, um, based on your last one they made, they'll kind of recommend certain ones that are kind of similar to that. So it looks like they're kind of recommending these um, based off of this design, which is nice. I do like this one a lot too. So now we have uh, five options for my logo. So we have this one, this one as well. Um, this one is nice. And then I like this one a lot. And then this last one is really cute too. So now what we can do is 
go back and then instead of looking for the Etsy shop icons, um, I'm gonna type in Etsy cover photo, Etsy shop cover. And one thing that's really great about Canva is that they'll make, us there's usually like some sort of templates um, that you can make. Like as you can see, I typed in Etsy shop cover and it'll be the exact dimensions that you will need for um, the for it to fit on your Etsy shop. So luckily you don't have to make any adjustments to these photos at all. You see, this is what I was talking about is this, this one has, you are able to put like pictures on the sides, like the, this picture icon. So then what I'll show you what that looks like is um, if you click and drag one of these pictures and then it'll put it right there. So I think that's super cool. And then I'll do the same for this one. So then that can showcase your items. So I'm going, I actually like that one a lot better because this one, I just, I don't know, the colors just seem a bit off. So I'm going to change the color in the background. Um, let's see. So there's like gradients. Ooh, ooh, that's, that's a good one. So I really like that gradient. So what I just went to is this background color and I went, scrolled down and there's these gradients and then I chose this one, but there's all different sorts of ones you can choose from. I personally like this one cause it kind of matches like my brand. So I'm gonna type in my shop name. No. Let's try this one. So again, it has those Photos that you can put there. This one's actually going to be a cute one, I think. So again, just drag your photos. Oh, nope. Okay. If it'll let me, hello. Okay, there we go. And then, well, actually I have them already uploaded. So let me just click and drag that one. Wish you could see a bit more of that outfit there. Let's see if there's there any other options for this one. This is a cute picture. This is for another birthday outfit. Yeah, I like that. I think that looks nice. Uh, so I have a back to school and my birthday outfits, which are my most popular. Um, yeah, I think that looks good. Okay. So then, this is my shop, so I'm gonna make this one smaller, so I'm gonna make that smaller. Okay. Custom children's outfits for special occasions. I still need to check in my special occasions. Let's use Google. Yeah, okay. When in doubt, check, check it out. You know, okay. So custom children's outfits for special occasions. So, again, usecrafts.com. So, what I'm gonna do, let me move that for a second. Over here, I'm gonna make this a bit bigger for my website. I'm gonna make this one a little bit smaller because that's all you need to do. Okay, I think that looks really nice. Um, let me see for the, the color. I really like that pink. I think I might use that pink because it kind of everything. Um, this one's okay, but I feel like this one is really a really nice nice cover photo. Um, let's see, custom children's outfits for special occasions. Yeah, I think that that one looks the best. So then, let this light pink. I can maybe make that light pink. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go with this one. This one and that I think match really nice. So I'm just going to delete these other pages here. So that will be my cover photo. And then I'll delete these. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is download the this. Um, so I'm just gonna hit download. You know what, I'm gonna add a bit of more pizzazz to my cover photo, cause there are like, you can search for elements. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for like birthday. And then all of the, these different uh, graphics and stuff will pop up. So like there's like happy birthday, there's this banner here. Um, I might, let's see, this cake would be nice just so people know what 
kind of things that I make. I just kind of like to dress it up a bit because it just kind of looks plain right now. So I have like birthday, let's type in like school. Maybe I could do like books or a heart. That The heart would look cute. I could always move it like, oh, nope, not over there. Like I could do the heart. Um, let's see. There's Easter. I can have this rabbit kind of poking its head around the corner. I mean, look how cute that is. That's so cute. And then let's see what else could I do. I kind of like it there to be honest maybe like heart let's see no I don't want to do be there I think that's nice okay so then now I'm going to finally save it. So download, take a screenshot. And then what I'm actually going to have to do is because when I take the screenshots, it does mess up the dimensions a little bit. So I have a MacBook and I use Photoscape X to edit my pictures. So I'm just going to do that here really quick. Um, so I'm going to go back to the logo. Um, and this is telling me that it's 500 by 500 pixels. So I'm just going to make that that size. So let's see. So 500, there we go, save that. And then the cover photo, <clears throat> 1200 by 300. So I'm just gonna click and drag. Perfect, that's the perfect size. Okay, so then I'll go back to my Etsy shop and to change your logo and your um, cover photo, you'll go to edit shop. Uh, let's do the cover or the, the um, whatever it's called first, the logo here. Um, oh wait, recents. Okay, screenshot. Upload that. Let's see how that turns out. That looks nice. And then now we can do our cover photo. I feel like it's good to kind of freshen things up. Um, so I'm going to click and drag for the logo or the cover photo. And that is how you edit, can edit and change your uh, cover photo and your logo for your Etsy shop. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Um, I'm probably gonna play a bit around more with this cause it still does a little, look a little bit blurry to me. But um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already done so. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.